how's it going, everybody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. good, good. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna tell you something about myself. Let you learn about me. I, uh, one thing about myself is I am pansexual. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So I've heard. That's what I've been told. I'm pansexual. I. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it means different things to different people. For me, it just means, uh, do you think I'm pretty? That's what it means. <laughs> For me? Uh, I was riding in the car with my friend the other day. She asked me if I was a feminist, and I was like, yes. And then I was like, I mostly understand what that means. I don't, not all the way, like 90%, like not all the way. And she goes, well, it's simple. Do you support other women? And I said, that depends. Are they better looking than I am? Uh, <laughs> And yes, but it's harder. It gets tricky when they get hot, you know? It's just, it gets complicated then. I don't know. And part of it is that I'm, I feel like I'm, je I'm jealous. You know, I have jealousy problems, jealous of, of other women that are pretty. And I, I keep gaining weight, and I feel like I'm just getting jealous and bigger and bitter and bigger and bitter. Like, some days, you know, I feel like I'm like one Big Mac away from becoming a Republican. I feel that they're monsters. Like, it's okay. You guys can laugh at that. It's okay. I, um, that's why it's a joke. Uh, it's not for reals. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting so, but I feel like part of it's that I'm getting older, you know, and, um, things are changing. I feel like my boobs are starting to sag. Like, I feel like my nipples and my belly button are like star-crossed lovers, you know? Like, I'm always having to keep them away from each other. I'm like, what are you doing? Your families don't get along. You'll start a war. Stay, <laughs> stay away. Okay, that's enough about my Montagues and my Capulet. That's what I call them. That's my nickname. Um, I call them that to dates, and dates are like, why would you call them that? And I'm like, why don't I take off my bra, and we can find out together. <laughs> Venture. No. I feel like that joke, it makes more sense. It's more relatable, right? When you say, like, oh, I'm older, and my boobs are starting to sag, and not the truth. The truth is that I came out of the womb with shoegazers. I was born that way. I don't know. If I was less pretentious, I'd name them my Sonic and my youth. I... I <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. I don't even know what to call them. You know, they're not sexual. I educational maybe. I think I, think I have educational titties. Like I feel like you could show them in like health class and no mom would get upset. Like they'd be fine. <laughs> PTA would be like, those are the champions of the abstinence program we've been looking for right there. <laughs> I'm okay with it, so you can be okay with it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, so you talked about my titties. It's going to be downhill. <laughs> it's just going to keep getting worse. I was at a party recently. I was at a party and there was this guy there and he was mansplaining uh, women's bodies, as they do, which is good because that's how we learn how they work, so I feel like it's a plus. He was mansplaining women's bodies. He was saying that he read this study that said that uh, squirt, like um, female ejaculate, not the soda pop. Uh, <laughs> maybe the soda pop, I don't know. Uh, said that squirt is mostly urine. He said this to the party, and the women at the party were a little miffed, right? Yeah, not amused? Of course they weren't, right? Why would they be? It's like giving away a magician's trick. Like, we all know the best way to get out of sex you're not enjoying is just to pee a little, and then... <laughs> I've never peed on anybody on purpose. I know of. I don't know. I read that study. Now I'm so confused. This is just a confession. I might have. I'm sorry. <laughs> to that special someone in the audience. I might. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You liked it. You didn't know. I liked it. I didn't know. Maybe peeing on each other is fun as long as nobody knows. You know. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> Whatever. She peed on you and you liked it. That's what that study means. Why are we the ones to feel embarrassed when that came out? You're the one that got. 
peed on. Not us. <laughs> you bragged about it later. I don't think that's on us. I don't think it is. Okay. <laughs> I have one more piece of commentary on sex, and that's it. My last piece of commentary on sex is an observation. I've observed that those with foreskin get a lot of flack. Yeah, a lot of jokes made at their expense. Don't get it. From my personal experience, the uncircumcised just have dicks that come with extra dick, so I feel like it's good. Like, I feel like it's a good thing. I don't, I don't understand the complaint. It makes no sense. It doesn't work anywhere else. Like, if a waiter brought you fries and said, I'm sorry, there's also curly fries, <laughs> you wouldn't be like, well, I'm not going to put this in my mouth now. <laughs> And the ALA. <laughs> and the ALA, because you're compensating. They're nice. They're nice. I like them. They're, 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 they're pretty squishy. They're a little squishy. They're a little squishy, but they're pleasant. There's like safety in the squish, you know? It's like, yeah, you know, it's like bowling with those uh, bumper lanes. It's padded for her pleasure. It's like a hard dick and a snuggie. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's aggressive yet adorable. I'm such a fan. I don't understand the complaints that they're funny looking thing about penises is they're not pretty to begin with. They're not. When you have sex, whole goal is to put the thing somewhere you can't see it. That's the whole point. <laughs> Why you're there. I'd put it in a sock drawer, but my pussy's closer. That's the whole <laughs> I just get it away from me. That's the whole talk about my mental health problems now. Sharp turn. Sharp turn. Uh, okay, we're, oh, you guys are so much more excited than I am about it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I have some mental health problems. I went to the doctor recently uh, for some treatment. I actually went there for some therapy and left, thank you, being proactive, went there, left with five new antidepressants. Yeah, to take at the same time, just a handful of short-term solutions every morning. That's how I start my day. Five new antidepressants. Yeah, you're being too empathetic. It's going good, it's going good. Yeah, going great. Can't stop smiling. Also, not entirely sure what's going on moment to moment. So, it's good, still sad. Now my face just kind of hurts too. So, I, it's great. My doctor called to see how they were working and I was like, well, out of the five you gave me, only one has any street market value, so. <laughs> Anxiety. I'm a financial anxiety. That's why I winked when I said it. Not just being adorable. I, I, uh, yeah. One of them does have street market value. That's kind of cool. Doctor prescribed me Adderall. You guys know what that is. This is Mississippi Street. Yeah, you guys are hip. Yeah. Smart drugs, study drugs. If you use an uh, Oregon health plan to buy them, they're called Speed, according to the lady at Walmart. Uh, yeah, Adderall. Didn't know if I wanted to sell it though, right? Like, didn't know if I wanted to be a criminal or not. Uh, but then I realized I'm using my government health insurance to sell Adderall in order to pay off my government student loans. So I'm not a crook, guys. That's just a really inefficient allocation of government funds. That's all, that's all that is. All right. You guys have been so with me on this mental health stuff. I'm going to end with something that's going to be too dark for you. I... <laughs> We're going to do one more. I'm going to leave. So this is very true. I went, I got, my, my dad died. It got very sad. Very sad. That's why I went and got mental health treatment. And I, I knew I needed to go get help because I found myself Googling how to buy a gun at Walmart. Because I wanted a way out. Also raised by a liberal, so I wasn't sure. So... <laughs> I Googled how to buy a gun at Walmart, and this is true. Google directed me to a forum that proceeded to shame me for trying to buy a gun at Walmart wow. when I could be buying a gun at Biomart, <laughs> which is employee owned. <laughs> I feel like Biomart needs a new slogan. For your final purchase, make it local. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>